That snow moves in just a little later. Many road crews are out there preparing right now, the city and the state. They are taking it seriously, ready to respond. Tyler Emery is joining us live from the Metro Public Works facility on Newburgh Road. What are you seeing there, Tyler? Well, Doug, actually just standing here in the last few minutes, I am feeling some of the first few flakes starting to come down. I'm here at the Metro Public Works facility out on Newburgh Road, and as you can see, there is one salt truck here waiting in the parking lot. That driver tells me that he is just sitting here waiting for the call to hit the streets. But in the last 30 minutes or so, I watched as about a dozen trucks already went out, and those drivers are now out on their routes. Those trucks started filling up with salt here at this facility at around nine tonight. The the city actually has about 16,000 tons of tons of salt on hand, but of course not a lot of snow yet this winter, so not a huge dent into that batch. I also checked in with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet tonight, who says their trucks are also prepared for this overnight snow. And we will just be out, you know, taking care of the roads until all of the weather that we may get is gone. With about 1400 trucks in its fleet, KYTC will have some of those out on the streets in Jefferson and the surrounding counties. They'll be getting ready to go out about midnight tonight. So while the flakes are just starting to come down right now here tonight, Doug, the, that morning commute will be one to keep an eye on. All right, we know a little bit of snow can cause a lot of issues. Thank you, Tyler. Don't be caught off guard by snowy weather. Always stay close to WHAS 11 News as some school closings could be possible in the morning with slick roads in the region. Now's the time to download the free WHS 11 app and join our wake up team right here. They'll begin at 430 in the morning.